you brought up your guitar. Uh huh. Pick it up and show people what's. Yeah. Uh, you brought this in. This is what you're going to be playing later this evening. Yeah. Um. What's uh. What's what's happened here? Did you go all Stone Cold Steve Austin from the top <laughs> rope? What is that? So uh, back in what was it? 20... Sturgis was really rough on your guitar. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I got this back in uh twenty. Was it twenty fifteen when Harvey hit? Or sure. Yeah, I, th- I think so. Yeah, there. something like that. And. Uh, we happen to be no 2017 don't don't quote me on any of these dates yeah, no, <laughs> the not. last two years have been kind of weird <laughs> so we were actually playing up in jackson hole and the owner of jackson hole music was uh that sounds was like a work, pun right was working in the uh at the bar at the time she's a bartender there and um we're watching her the hurricane just come through and obliterate Houston and I was living in Corpus at the time where the oh, eye was oh, headed yeah. for yeah, yeah, yeah. you know and everybody we're just watching this go oh crap <laughs> and so she asked me and she, she's like well what do you ha- you live in Corpus what do you have down there and I said well I'm just just a few old guitars and you know I've got most of my rig and stuff with us because we're on the road for a while and she said uh, hop in the shop on Monday and I want you to meet some people so before we headed out of town that Monday we uh did, met with Teton Guitars and I told them exactly everything I wanted about a guitar. I wanted a cedar wood top because it's a softer wood because I sure. wanted wanted to beat the heck out of a guitar and tear it up <laughs> real hard. And I, I uh, love the way this that's one an understatement, and played. I think. <laughs> so within a year, after you know, I think we're doing a little over 200 shows a year. Um, I was working on it every show, just just playing as hard as I could, and it started with a little tiny hole about this size. And sure. From there, it it ex- it's expanded out over the years, and I actually. <laughs> so it's it's a it's literally a work in progress. Every time you play it, a little oh, bit yeah. more falls out. Oh yeah, just wow. trying to give it more and more love. I actually just got it out of the shop yesterday because I had this huge splinter crack out of the back of it, and a Sundance head that was on the voice, his yeah. bass player, Brian Lippman, actually came in and patched it up, and you can barely even tell it's wow. there now. So he did a heck of a job. So thank you, Brian, if you're watching. <laughs> but no, it's, 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 it's loud, sounds good. I love the way it plays, and they've been good guitars. And actually, on this last trip, I bet you uh, make sound guys like the the house sound guy just kind of loses it. He didn't know what to do. They right? look at it and get really scared. I'm like, just plug it in. It'll it's, be fine. It, Don't worry about fine. it. And it actually, it doesn't feed back as much as most acoustic think? guitars do. Wow. And no, it's fantastic. And they actually Teton with all the posting and stuff I've done with it over the last few years. I went and uh, toured their facility at Chesbro Music in Idaho Falls on this last trip, and they've hooked me up with all mahogany brand new one and an oh. alligator case and just it's fancy super fancy so if you want to see that one <laughs> come catch me at a show because that's that's my primary show guitar now i got you i so got you fancy this but since i just got this one out of the shop i wanted to play it today so that's why i brought this one in it's got lots of love it, it 